Peace, everybody. We back at it again. It's your boy Universal, Wax Groove TV. It's Step Andre, Kill Room Play, Born in May, Fuck Wrong Your Day. The darkest nigga you know, with Re Villaligo, aka Uncle Ruckus. I did have that. Yeah. Mm. So, we got another mixtape review for you from one of the greatest fucking performers in hip hop history, if not the greatest. One, one of the most animated. I mean, you can't. You said hip hop, okay? Because all I thought of was Michael Jackson. This nigga said performing. You know what I'm saying Michael Buster Jackson. Rounds is definitely the best rap performer of all time. I, I, I made sure oh, you okay. said hip hop. That's why I said who I had to sit. You know what I'm saying? Because nigga Michael Jackson. Ooh, I yeah. just seen some shit on Michael. No, That's MJ's performance is on point. But when oh it comes to rap, God, nigga. <sighs> Buster gets busy. But okay, yeah, Buster Rhymes, The Return of the Dragon, the Abstract went on vacation. Cap on smoking a thug while I plot on another caper. Respectively, see, I've been genetically blessed to move like I'm a GF. Designer cigars and pinky rings. Ain't no question how we move on bigger things. On the patio, speaking the old connects, my Dominican Puerto Ricans, Pablo Augustus and Miguel Falejo. They be speaking with strong accents and had a soul. You going on a vacation, nigga. <laughs> um, but yeah. What's uh the abstract obviously being Q tip. So basically Q tip didn't do anything on this album as far as production goes. Um, but they kind of allude to some shit in the he future. Might've did, he might have did the outro. True. I think he did the outro. Well, let's jump into it. Um, the starting end. with the intro, it's basically Busta and um, Q-Tip going and just talking. And Q-Tip basically says, he says he needs to go on vacation. Busta's like, nah, we got to do this mixtape. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah, B, I need a break. Just go do your thing by yourself. Real shit, it was an ill intro. It was dope, and it that's exactly dead. what he did. It led the it led the listener right in, you know, followed the whole theme, the title. They were talking with a purpose, though. You know, a lot of people just fucking talk on intros no, or definitely. interludes, and it's like no point to it. Yeah. This actually made sense, and it helped progress the fucking mixtape along. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. So track two, Hits for Days, featuring Jay Holiday. I actually like this track quite a lot. Something you play in the car and just get the bob to and just kind of zone out. That's the kind of vibe I get from it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. This shit was I. Right, you know what I'm saying? It was, the beat kind of saved it. I felt Jay Holiday had a little bit too much of a, like a length of sync. Like, like it, like the singing the was too drawn out? Yeah, it was, it was too spread out like it all it needed to say was hits for days and that would have been it you know what i'm saying too much singing and so not as if he can't sing or anything but you know he ain't fucked the track up just just, just yeah track so, three man. track three choose a side Whew. there was some fire on this track yeah there was some fire yeah busted did his thing uh j doe's verse was all right i believe it was aaron cook's verse at the end um this um, dude. We don't know who the fuck it was. The anyways, last verse. The last verse. Oh my god. Yeah. He fucking spazzed out. Yeah, he did his thing. Uh, he had the line. He said, um, <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I got it written down here. Yeah. He, it was. He said, snatch line it. After line. Snatch it, ghost out your face. He said, snatch the ghost out your face. That's like, snatch the ghost out your face. That killer B shit. Like, he went in, it was just reference on top of reference, mm -hmm. on top of metaphor, and the wordplay was just there. Like, he did his thing. He spazzed out. This is definitely one of the better tracks on the joint. Um, number four, we got Respect My Conglomerate, part two, featuring Fab, Jada, and SP. Your thoughts? Um, it was nothing of a follow-up in my eyes. No, because Respect Your Conglomerate was a banger. Yes, it was. That shit was a banger. I really liked that track. This, for a part two, I definitely wasn't feeling it. It was all right. Jada and Styles did their thing going back and forth, but that's expected from them. Just because it was who it was, it made it odd. Fab, it was okay. It was Nothing trash memorable. compared to the first one. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's not a trash song, but it's trash compared to the original. Correct. Respect My Conglomerate. Correct. Just to clear that up. <laughs> yes. So track five, God's Plan. This was trash. Send this shit to the recycle bin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's chug, straight chug juice. Straight chug juice. Let this yeah, bitch fly. Juice. Just let it fly right out the fucking window. Yeah. 
Track six. Yeah, this was real ill. Called Hello, featuring Chance the Rapper. A nice flip. Yeah. In the beginning, Chance starts off singing some Lauryn Hill, that Ready or Not. Mm -hmm. The beat, the I Got Five on it by Lunas, they took that beat, flipped that beat. Crazy shit. I never heard a Chance the Rapper project. The two features I heard Chance the Rapper on, he spats when he did the joint with um, Action Bronson. Mm -hmm. um, why you only no, on him back? I mean, and then this shit. Both. Yep, and then this shit, he fucking spazzed. This makes me want to go check his shit out, because he did his thing on here. Buster came through, did his thing, but damn, this was some fire. Yeah, I agree. I'm right in the same boat, like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker must have the other cell or something. Some shit like that. <laughs> you know, we there. You know what I'm saying? Same boat. Track 7, I fuck with Track 7, I fuck with MJB yeah. all day. Your all Loss day. featuring Mary J. Blige, it was a nice little song. If you, if you niggas can't understand MJB, you probably was born in the 90s. Or 2000s. If you born in the 2000s and you kind of watching this, <laughs> you, well, nah, I mean. Yeah, but it was nice to hear Mary J. Blige on the track. It's got to be hard to get her to do a record with you nowadays. But anyways... But, you know, she probably got a, like a slight relationship with Bus. I don't know. Well, of course. I mean, the chemistry was there like they did. Definite, do. definite. So, number eight. I've got another skit. The Abstract and the Dragon. It was ill. This skit was ill, or interlude, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they're kind of talking about why Buster did the mixtape. And... Uh, Bus is basically telling people he had to let niggas know he still got it. He had to take the sock off, as he said, and yeah. smack niggas in the face with it. With the stank sock. With like the, the stank shit. sock. Like he just worked out for three hours and took it off and slapped you in the face. So yeah, a little longer, like like you like you went to work, then you worked out for three hours. And then, and then went then in the kitchen and cooked. Then then you stepped in on like a a a, a, a puddle of water by accident, <laughs> you know. It's basically, he letting you know type shit. Bus is letting us know he still got it. Let that shoe dry out and then <laughs> smack you with the sock. That's some, that's a stank sock. So track nine, tonight, featuring Sean Paul. You see this face? You see his face, man? That shit goes in the recycle bin. Chug it out the window. Not feeling it. Don't get me wrong, you can definitely dance to this if you in the club. Yes, definitely. Definite. But you can move to it. I could have went. I could have did without it. You can move to it. Track ten. Trash. I give this shit a double trash. And I'm sick of hearing Wiz Khalifa rap about the same shit over and over. This dude needs to fucking talk about something else and progress himself. Like this, this, this shit was just like that industry fucking radio sound that everybody's doing. Straight garbage. Yeah, this shit was weak. So we got track eleven, UFC. Tap out. This was double. This was double. This was my double whack. Cause yeah, this shit was whack. This shit was straight styrofoam. Yo, <laughs> this was a cereal bowl. Like this is definitely when cereal you don't even fast. have no fucking milk. It's just this is cereal garbage. Cereal bowl with the water. You don't want that shit at all. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, somebody man. somebody told me the other day that sometimes they husband put orange juice if they don't have milk. It's that nasty. That shit is that whack. Mm. Who the fuck wants to eat orange juice and cereal? That's fucking oh, we didn't even mention who was on there. Waka Flocka. The most nastiest palate. And Gucci shit. Man. I don't understand how Gucci still releases shit. This motherfucker locked up. But more power than Gucci if you able to put out shit and record while you in the bank. Yeah, he's Gucci is like the un what do you call that when you like he's the king of the south that ain't been claimed king of the south you know what I mean that type of shit I fuck with I fuck with Gucci I do too but just not on this nah nah I, I mean we didn't even get the Gucci part to keep a hundred we didn't get the Gucci part nigga nigga skip this shit yeah, once you like I'm the type of nigga once once I hear the Thirty, so I'm gonna give you thirty seconds. You know, when, before when I was young, I gave you five, ten seconds. If I didn't feel it, move on. I'm giving you thirty seconds now. I'm a little grown, and I gave it thirty seconds. So, double, double whack. Real niggas, 
Track 12 featuring Rick Ross. This was this was good. This was good. It was mm-hmm. solid. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, I like Rick Ross's verse, but I also like when Rick Ross is featured on other people's stuff. When he's featured on a track with somebody who can spit, he steps his game up. I'm, I'm not a Rick Ross fan, but he did his thing. He does his thing you know, <clears throat> at times. He has his moments. He definitely has his moments when he can spaz on the track. He definitely has the potential <laughs> to. Uh, track 13. Woof! Yeah. Woof! Yeah. Track 13. Let's yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Watch how you move. Yep. Featuring Shalaw. The up? Sh- Raekwon. The chef. Thought you was talking about Stefan. <laughs> Yo, the fucking beat. It was produced by Rock Marciano and someone named Psycho. Shout out to Rock on that one. The beats, banging. The verses, banging. And tell them about the best part about the track. The beat switch. The that beat was, switch. That, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that was that was an ill-ass transition. Ray killed it. You know what I'm saying? And the way it transitioned, what did, uh, what did he say? Um... He says, Shalal, get the chefing, I think. Yeah, Shalal, do the chefing. That's how we introduced Raekwon on the track. Mm. So Buster says, Shalal, do the chefing. Then the beat just switches and then Raekwon comes in. Mm. So there's no breakdown. There's no indication that there's about to be a beat switch or him really jumping on the track. It's just like, Shalal, do the chefing. Bang. And he's right there. Like, Mm -hmm. this shit was fucking banging. Uh, Track 14, In the Streets. Featuring MF Doom and BJ the Chicago Kid. Oh, in the streets. <laughs> MF Doom's one of my favorites. Um, I like this track. It's a solid track. Definitely. The chemistry was there. Yes. I fuck with MF Doom. He always I comes with right. Jay Dillon in the production. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that MF Doom and Ghost Project. Hopefully we get that in February. Likewise, I'm looking for that as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully I get to listen to it. <laughs> Track 15, We Home, featuring leaders of the new school, produced by Black Mouth. What more to say about that? Yeah, that the production was, that was, was on point. Yes. This track was fire too. Um, mm-hmm. This guy, everybody did their thing on here. I was really. Ha! Ha ha Really happy to hear him reuniting with his old, you know, where he came from. I had to save it. But uh, he did his thing. I, I enjoyed it. And then <laughs> <laughs> the outro must have just, you know, him and Abstract follow up on the outro. And they did their thing. And so overall, it was a solid mixtape. <laughs> some solid mixtape. There was some skippable shit on here. Um, yeah, yeah, it was some skippable shit. I'm going to give this, as far as rating it, I'm giving this a chicken noodle soup. You're going to give it a chicken noodle soup? Leading into it. No, I'm lying. I'm not going to give it a chicken noodle soup. I'm going to give it a jerk chicken. You give it a jerk chicken? I'm going to give it a jerk chicken. You know why? I'm going to give give it the brown stew chicken. It wasn't that fucking hot. No, I'm (laughs) going to give it the... Yo, I'm going to tell you why. Yes, there was about three or four tracks you could skip on it, but it was still album length. The shit was almost an hour long, and you could only skip three or four tracks. The rest of it was banging. But yo, you're saying it was damn near like... It was good! For a mixtape? It's not even an album, it's a mixtape. True. I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a brown stew chicken in there. I'm giving this shit a jerk chicken. To and me, it was brown stew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, for y'all, y'all, for the rest of y'all who maybe, don't know what we're talking about... Maybe, maybe a fucking coca soup or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check the link in the description below. Where we just... Uh, Put together a video explaining how we're gonna rate all of our videos going forward. We decided to have a little fun with it rather than just rating it on a scale of one to five or one to ten. We decided to use food, so cold food, the the hot spicy foods. I'm giving it a jerk chicken. You know. Let us know what you think. A couple tracks on here was bowls of cereals. Yes, a couple bowls of cereals on here. Yes. But let us know what you think. Don't couple forget bowls of cereal with water, man. <laughs> God damn, I don't want that. <laughs> Yo, don't forget to like my shit, comment, and subscribe. Wax Groove TV, it's your boy Universal. It's Stamandre. And we out. Peace.